Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I discovered a problem with my keyboard. So, the stabs are very slow. And so, it's the same with the inner key, the backspace key, and anything that is supported by stabilizers. So, what I've done is I've gone ahead and ordered a um, well, some background. This is a GMMK Pro keyboard. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's got a nice keycap set. So it was built out, uh, but not properly lubed. So we're gonna kind of fix that. So I ordered a kit from Glorious. And this is their premium lube kind of bundle that will get you going. And it also should include a new stabilizer. So I believe they're called GSB. So today, we will be changing those out on this keyboard and hopefully fixing the, I believe these are called the goat stabs originally, um, where these had issues. Also, while we're at it, I have a drop control signature series flux as well. I don't believe they print this key set anymore or at least in the signature series flux. Probably need to clean this thing, but we'll get to that when we take it apart. So kind of my goal, I have another keyboard as well. So I have three total. Um, I'm gonna have a problem collecting keyboards. Okay, keyboards. As far as the switches on this one, I'm not sure I built this, or I bought this pre-built. So um, we might find out, we'll see. But I want to lube all of these as well. They're pretty loud. They're very really hangy. So I don't think these were lubricated at all. This keyboard is not very old. I think it's just like, it's, it's, it's sounded like that from the factory, so not too great. This already sounds much better, much quieter compared to that one. Um, so, we're just gonna get into the unboxing and then we'll get into the video part where we're taking apart the GMMK Pro first and repairing it and relubing the switches and then go from there. All right, I don't have someone to control the camera for me, so we're doing it like this. No trusty knife, this thing's amazing. Kershaw designs. So, there's the glorious lube station. Pretty cool. And we get a glorious keycap puller. The new stabilizers. A keyboard. A lube brush is included. A glorious switch puller. A glorious switch opener. Overall, the packaging is really nice. So let's get into opening the rest of it. All right, let's see how it all goes together. sliding out very easily. I will tell you that. So, we're gonna go gorilla mode on this. Um, kinda wanted to save this, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Some cool foam. 
Man, this is some premium packaging and like feel for a just a lube station. sitting around for a while, I'd probably recommend cleaning that all or something, but since this is brand new, you probably don't need to do that. So make sure you have a good stick. I haven't touched any of these with my oily fingers, so it should be fine. Cool. feet keeps it in place very nicely glorious switch opener switch puller. Very nice feel. Um, I don't think the paint will hold up on this stuff. It just, it's already kind of scuffed. A little bit there on the edge, right there. But it is what it is. This is gonna be used. So apparently these go just sit in here. Nice. They slot in like that. Have the brush. Lots of nice packaging here. I'm not sure that it would be necessary to package a brush like this, but hey, they clearly give you the packaging experience. Very cool graphics. Very protected. I mean, this is complete overkill for a paintbrush, but that's cool. on the top to help preserve the brush, I suppose, from shipping. And just keep that on there for now. Apparently this is in here as well. I've seen some complaints where the paint comes off of these uh, from this metal. This is very like a rough material, so I could see that happening. But it's very premium feeling, but still kind of sharp. Of course, you have the G-Lube. Obviously, see where that goes. I always love this packaging for stuff like this. It's really hard to see. It's even got a nice protective cover to not get the lid all messy until you're ready to use it. So we'll probably leave that in place for now because we're just unpackaging this. I don't get my hands all Very nice. Sits in there. 
have the stabilizers. These will obviously not go in this. This will be going in the keyboard. And then we have another tool, of course, keycap puller. I did already have a keycap puller that came with my uh, drop series keyboard, but as this is a bundle, you get what you get with the bundle. Very nice. These are much more premium feeling than, well, actually this is plastic. I expected this to kind of be metal. Um, the one that came with my drop control keyboard is actually a metal handle with uh, some prongs. I'll have to show it in another video, but that was the included experience with that, with that keyboard. Also, that is also a $500. Um, the MMK Pro is a little cheaper. Pretty cool though. start the lubing process and swapping out the buzzers. So overall, I think it's a pretty cool product upon the, upon the initial unboxing, but we'll have to see if this solves my problem. Overall though, it's a, I mean, that's pretty cool. Is it overkill? Yeah, you don't need this. You probably don't need to spend $70 on this kit to relubricate your relubricate your keyboard. I did because I like buying things and it's pretty cool and it gives you a nice layout to get the job done in a very organized manner. Um, it does have spring boards, spring holes here to put your springs in for lubing. However, the methodology I found online um, pretty much you're only using the key keyholes and the switch uh, tops here. Uh, whereas with the springs, you're just putting them in a Ziploc bag, putting a little bit of the G lube in there, blowing it full of air, and then shaking it around just to coat the springs to stop some tacky uh, pinginess. To, to, from what I understood, to get some of the pinginess out of the springs that you hear in my other keyboard that I'm gonna to try to fix and remediate. 